This part of the bear, it's a working river. It's very fertile ground. We're in this big working landscape. So there's lots of irrigation, lots of agriculture practices. There's not one thing that caused harm to the river. It's a kind of death by a thousand cuts, especially in this area. It was just kind of written off as there's too many problems in this stretch and those Bonneville cutthroat trout, there can't be any left that still make spawning migrations in this part of the bear, the upper part of the bear. What we did back in 2011 is we did an adopted trout study, so we actually radio tagged fish and then had a classroom in the town of Evanston adopt those fish and we tracked them for about four years. What we found is those fish do move. They move roughly 40 miles from the town of Evanston all the way up into Utah. We used to have to put a big dam across right here behind me. Raised this river up, oh, probably six, seven, eight feet. And they come in here and they changed the river up behind me and then they planted trees. And so far this year, we haven't had to do anything but raise the head gate up and lower it. Made my life a lot easier. <laughs> we understand that private landowners, water rights holders, people that use the land, love it and care about the resources just as much as everybody else. You know, instead of going to litigation and fighting different people, to come to those solutions where we can work with them and come to win-win solutions, you know, that's our bread and butter. That's what we do all over the West. <laughs>